Hey everyone, so we want to give you an update to our Polaris Ranger EV conversion video. Um, customer had contacted us saying that one of his batteries is having a problem with his Bluetooth and it probably is a Bluetooth module, they tend to go out. Anyway, we had a chance to go visit them at their location and see what was going on. We were able to get the battery amended by replacing the Bluetooth and after that we did some runs just to see what's going on and we learned a few things. So let's just enjoy the video, see what they've been up to, see how the uh, convergence has been handling up, and some of the challenges and some of the issues that they did see, and uh, some of the things that we can, uh, you know, maybe improve going forward. Okay, let's begin. All right, guys, this is actually an update to one of the, the Polaris we had converted. The customer has moved the batteries up to the front, but one of the batteries is having a Bluetooth problem, so we're going to replace that today. But this is sort of interesting, the way that they have it underneath, underneath the vehicle. No uh, balance issues with the batteries right underneath, or that's where they should be. They're going to meet you? Yeah. So where would you? Do you have any balance issues with the batteries directly underneath, or that's where this is supposed to be? I don't. I don't. Know. Like any CG CU center of gravity issues with the batteries up here, or that's there. There's no. Oh, no, that's fine. Okay. And it was very interesting the way they did. Well, I was supposed to. Yeah, I was supposed to take pictures and send you a video, but maybe when we're done. It's kind of dirty, but... No, no, hey, that's that's how it's going to, you know, that's what it is on ATV. So this is interesting to have this little bracket that they drilled in, and they, they use it to clamp in place, and they have a little, little piece of rubber kind of securing it, and it works fairly well. So hopefully we'll chain that Bluetooth out, and the batteries still work, but one of the Bluetooth adapters acting up. So it's another reason why it's important to have these batteries serviceable. So we'll chain that out and see how it is. So we were able to replace the Bluetooth on this one. The Bluetooth got replaced, and that was wow. all it is. This is how it's uh, how the customer mounted it. Really nice. The stock location where it is, and he's got a piece of angled aluminum and a little rubber gasket here, and it's very stable. He did add looks like a bracket there, uh, a little metal bracket there, and a little metal bracket there, and another little thing. And from what I understand. Um, they don't move. They get a little dirty, but hey, it's okay. It's plastic. It's not going to rot like a metal battery, so you get the advantage of that. But, you know, other than that, it's looking pretty good. We'll see how it is in a second. That's where the uh, the little equalizer goes. and Yep, that's all you need. Nice and secure. And then that keeps the batteries in sync when it's series. So, there it is, all said and done. And we'll go for a little test drive, but... I think it's pretty good. Uh, there is one thing that um, the owner says that eventually, some, sometimes that the battery charger blinks red, and I, I, we're thinking it's because of the heat, because that happens even with lead acid batteries. So uh, I guess try to run a fan or try to charge it with the, the hood open. But uh, I think other than that, everything everything's okay. We'll go for a test drive and see how it is. All right, so looks like we're not getting a GPS signal here, so we can't get uh, speed, but we can get the kilowatt. So as we drive around, producing around 88.5. Because we don't have a GPS signal, it's uh, maybe on the road a little bit. It might just be iPhone permissions we have to enable again. But Now the max power is set to 11 kilowatts. Let's see what we're pulling. Wow, maxed out again. Yeah, we're pulling over 11 kilowatt hours. We're down. We're going down to 8 kilowatts.
far and low. Hi. Uh, okay. You can do up to 12 on these batteries. So, so right now you're just cruising at around a kilowatt hour. I'm not sure why, uh, maybe iOS is not allowing the uh, speed, but you know, anyway, that's not bad. All right, so it was actually around this time that we sort of saw a little bit of strangeness. We went to the app and actually moved it up to 14 kilowatts just to see. And I think we had peaked at on 13.5. And after that, it actually triggered the battery uh, to uh, go to over discharge. So we did have to wait about 10, 15 seconds. But this is quite over spec. Um, I, I wasn't, I was surprised to see the Ranger AV be able to draw that power. But something happened after this. Um, after it went high like that, when we tried to run it again, the the motor or the speed controller itself limited the power so we actually think we started to overheat the speed controller slash motor and once we did that the motor would not draw more than seven or eight kilowatts so we think that the, the player ev actually has some built-in protection where if you draw too much power it will actually down throttle itself so let's see what happens after this Right now, we're speeding and it's not right. Yeah, we, uh, no, there we go. Four, around five kilowatt hour, uh, five kilowatts. Now we're at eight. And I have it big, so I don't know if we're going to compare it earlier. because you're, you're pulling about 3,855 watts. Is the motor, does the motor have a limiter in there? It might, because it's not pulling what it was. Okay, so that was around about where the video uh, sort of ended, and you know we just sort of uh, pulled in back into sort of the garage area. And you know what, lo and behold, uh, when we pulled in, the GPS started working, and all of a sudden we were getting speed. So, you know, that's, that's unfortunate. But I think this place is around in the country area, so maybe cell towers aren't as, uh, you know, aren't as numerous. Anyway, after this, um, we waited a little bit and the motor started producing full power again. So I think in terms of power output, probably want to keep the power output on this thing under 9 uh, kilowatt. And it's different than lead acid because lithiums will keep producing. And, um, you know, um, our batteries will work up until maybe around 12 kilowatts. And then after that, they will go into, you know, over over current. So just keep that in mind. Um, and we actually did see bursts of speed as high as 13.5, almost 14 kilowatts. So that's definitely above spec. But um, other than that, really, it's, for, it's fairly straightforward. It doesn't take much. The balance, the equalizer is all you really need and four of our batteries, uh, either the 275EX or the 300HP. I do recommend the 300HP for this one. After seeing that it can produce more, I think the 300HP is going to probably give you a little more better performance because it does have that top end. All right. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. We'll be more than happy to help. If you're looking to get in something like this set up, just email us. We'll tell you exactly what you need. And uh, you'll be actually personally surprised how affordable it is and considering the amount of power and the capacity that you get. Okay, uh, thanks again for choosing Sun Fun Kits. And like I said, just reach out to us if you need anything. Bye.